welcome to the organic chemistry under the name the halo alkane chapter we have a, a another small subtopic called chloroform that we will take today the chloroform is nothing but a, a carbon containing the three chlorine atoms attached to one hydrogen so it is uh, the formula is CHCl3 it is a small molecule however it comes under the halo alkanes but uh, because of the two reasons uh, one is one carbon compound having three chlorines uh, it has some special properties uh, when compared with the the halo alkanes you cannot have a clubbed up properties you cannot read uh, with the halo alkanes it has some special preparations and the properties let us see how this chloroform is prepared preparation methods there are two methods which are common to the the halo alkanes that is starting from the methane you chlorinate it methane chlorination takes place in the presence of either uv light or 250 degrees centigrade the reaction we have observed it is a free radical substitution that one chlorine dot removes the hydrogen dot and forms HCl and another Cl dot attacks and CH3 dot giving the methyl chloride right. But the methyl chloride is not the final answer it gives the further chlorination CH2 Cl2 it gives further chlorination CHCl3 it gives further chlorination CCl4. So therefore four compounds will be formed uh, when you are chlorinating methane if it is restricted that the excess of methane small quantity of chlorine you may have a preparation major quantity as a methyl chloride similarly excess of chlorine small quantity of methane the product may be ccl4 but in between compound chloroform preparation has always uh, uh, some problem but you get a, a mixture of this compound mixture can be easily separable they are not homologous series uh, they have a, a small the difference in the boiling points uh, around 30 degrees difference is there in between every two compounds so therefore one can easily go for the ordinary distillation itself to separate them similar the way you can also take the the club the that is ccl4 that is carbon tetrachloride uh, carbon tetrachloride and you can prepare um, this uh, mixture by reduction of these compounds isn't it ccl4 can be reduced with the the, um, the nascent hydrogens obtained from the tin and hcl or some other the metals and alcohols and so on you can generate a nascent hydrogen which cut the the hydrogens and you get the the um, trichloromethane, dichloromethane, monochloromethane, even a small quantity of methane also can be formed uh, when you are reducing. But all these uh, compounds can be readily can be separable so therefore this is not at all a problem. But uh, it so happened that the halogenation of methane nor this uh, the reduction of CCL4 are not the commercial or the common methods for the, the chloroform. We have one special methods of the, the preparation for this uh, the chloroform. <coughs> the methods have got some link to the, the other compounds properties also. So therefore let us concentration um, concentrate on the issue how the chloroform is prepared. This preparation starts from the ethyl alcohol. The preparation of chloroform from ethyl alcohol is an important question and several questions are coming on this particular the compound. The <coughs> ethyl alcohol is treated that is a common alcohol is treated with the calcium oxychloride. This is nothing but a bleaching powder. Bleaching powder used in the cleaning of the water and the wire um, washing the cloths and so on in presence of water the two substances calcium oxychloride and the chlorine that is water when they react the calcium hydroxide is produced and the chlorine gas is produced actually that is oxidizing the ethanol and subsequently halogenating and cutting and finally what comes is a CHCl3 this is the compound formed however this has got the some internal steps are there in the first step uh, the oxidation of alcohol the step one is a oxidation 
So, using the same reagent that is the calcium oxychloride and water, the ethyl alcohol is oxidation. Before that, we can take a hydrolysis of bleaching powder also because bleaching powder as such it is not reacting, first they generate a chlorine. <coughs> Hydrolysis of a bleaching powder. So, this bleaching powder that is a calcium oxychloride reacts with water and gives the calcium hydroxide and liberate the chlorine. So, we are interested in this base and the halogen. Later we will see instead of this base, uh, can this work can be done with other base? Yes. Instead of calcium hydroxide, you too can sodium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide also. Instead of chlorine, you can take bromine iodine also. The only thing is when you use chlorine, the final product will be chloroform. If you use bromine, you will get bromoform. Used iodoform will be formed. We have a common reaction later. We will see. In the second step is a oxidation. Oxidation of water. Oxidation of uh, ethanol, OL, ethanol means alcohol. So, this alcohol is oxidized, uh, ethyl alcohol has a, a function of hydroxy group uh, and the, the hydrogen. So, this hydrogen and this hydrogen will be removed uh, the, as a H2 and this uh, is uh, treating with the chlorine and forming into the 2 moles of uh, HCl. So, the chlorine is acting as a oxidizing agent from the one hydrogen from the hydroxy, one hydrogen from the carbon is removed. Here comes a double between the oxygen. So, therefore, the in between what compound is formed means a uh, ethanol is formed. Eth AL. AL stands for the aldehyde function. So, ethanol is oxidized to ethanol. This is an uh, oxidation step. In the third step, uh, halogenation of uh, ethanol or chlorination of a halogen or instead if you take chlorine chlorination this can be called as chlorination. So, chlorination of water AL. So, the acetaldehyde commonly known as acetaldehyde is going to react with this uh, chlorine once again. What is happening is the hydrogens which are attached to this uh, unsaturated carbon shows uh, hyperconjugation that means a sort of resonance they are detached all, all these hydrogens readily can be repelled and get uh, all these hydrogens will become into the chlorines. So, this is nothing but an acetaldehyde with a uh, three chlorines. So, you can call it as a 2 2 2 trichloroethanol 2 2 2 trichloroethanol as commonly chloral. What is the IUPAC name? It is trichloroeth an all aldehyde but somebody is instead of that chloral so it is the common name so plus all these hydrogens will react with the chlorine and you will get the 3 hcl so therefore here 3 moles 6 chlorines are required 3 will enter in the place of hydrogens with this hydrogens 3 chlorines are going so total 6 three molecules of chlorine is consumed. Once again, this is a sort of oxidation. The hydrogen is electronegative element entering is a oxidation. However, especially if somebody has it is a halogenation, you can say methane to methyl chloride forwarding the reaction is a oxidation. So, lastly, what is happening is that chlorine going a the hydrolysis or oxidation. Hydrolysis of a hydrolysis of chloral. So, that uh, trichloro the acetaldehyde is undergoing a break. Actually, what is happening is you can write straight away with. So, one side uh, the H one side OH you can and say this is formic acid is formed this is a chloroform is formed, but this reaction of hydrolysis is in presence of the base. So, therefore, the acid formed uh, again you have to show with this base and forms into a salt. Instead of that you can take as well the base can be taken and shown that the H is adjusted here. So, that uh, CHCl3 is formed uh, and this side one carbon becomes into a salt of the calcium that is formic acid.
calcium calcium formate is formed if you want to balance it you take two and the two formic acids gone with the calcium two chloroforms uh, are formed so this is a reaction wherein what happened the chloroforms one of this piece will become into the chloroform one of the piece uh, will become into chloroform the other piece is becoming into an acid treating with the base therefore calcium formate will be the byproduct so this is the our main compound the chloroform preparation is overall reaction is ethanol plus bleaching powder plus water and a slight warming you will get this reaction but it can be shown in the four different stages first stage is hydrolysis of the bleaching powder bleaching powder is undergoing hydrolysis to give the a base and a halogen a base and a halogen as i said uh, the halogen has an option to take bromine or the iodine the base have a potassium hydroxide or the sodium hydroxide